I'm going to show you how to create page transitions in an XJS app. So let's create yarn, create a next app project called my shop. Uh, while it installs, uh, Framer Motion is the library that we're going to use, and this has this very nice higher order component called shared animate shared what's it called shared animate shared layout yes so let's uh, see it into the project add framer motion open it in visual studio code and run it So let's go to our index page. There's a um, boilerplate here. Let's see if this works. Yep. Let's remove this boilerplate stuff. We don't need these. And create an H1 called my shop. Perfect. Now let's add some images from Unsplash. Let's get these three. So as well. And add them to our public folder. We don't need this anymore. What's this? Let's give it a little bit of a little bit of a better name. Shoo, shoo, shoo. watch and hit bones okay now let's get these onto our page let's wrap them in a div element create an array of the file names called shoe what and headphones. Let's map them through. Product and return a bunch of image elements with the source of product plus dot j jpeg. There we go. Now we can see that they are huge. Let's add some CSS to them. Let's use this home. We don't need these. Let's add a product product container. Container. Um, display flex gap 16 pixels. Uh, don't use this in production yet because this is not available in a lot of browsers. Anyway, let's add these classes from styles container is called product container let's actually format this properly 
and let's add a class to the images as well called styles image let's create this image class and add some dimensions with 300 pixels height 300 pixels okay they're a bit stretched so let's add object fit cover here we go we have a bunch of images so now let's create another page we don't need this api folder let's delete this and uh, then this page is going to be called product and these curly or these uh, brackets uh, say that this is a query element this product key can be whatever uh, let's copy this initial stuff over from the index page let's call this product page uh, let's keep the container and the image and the h1 tag and we now need this product key and this we can get with the nextjs router let's import that in use router from next slash router and this product key is under query product and add this to the title as well product now we should have two pages show show Awesome. Okay, now let's link these two pages together. Add a link. We don't need this yet. Let's import the link component from the next link and wrap the image with the link tag. href should be product so slash whatever product it is should actually be in the array and this needs to be wrapped in an a tag as well so let's see if this works show sure. watch Headphones. Awesome. Let's add a little bit of CSS to this product page we just created. Let's use the same module. We don't care about this at the moment. And let's call this, I don't know, big image. And let's make it bigger for 50. If that works, big image. Looks good. Now let's actually add in the transitions. So the pages are all derived from this component. So let's wrap all the pages with the Framer motion animate shared layout. Did we actually add Framer motion in? We did not, so let's do that. Yarn, let's 
get my face out of the way. Add framer motion. So now we can wrap this component with animate shared layout. Now initially it does nothing. It's still static. But if we add uh, some magic to these images, we can transition between pages with these images actually transitioning. So let's import motion from framer motion and add this, basically change this HTML image tag with the emulsion that image tag. So this gives the image new properties. Uh, for example, animate scale to. So now they're ridiculously huge. Scale them back down. Uh, it's actually had a while cover. So there's some indication that these are clickable. And do that with product as well. Motion that image and also import motion in from frame motion. And now the magic is derived from this property called layout ID. So if we add this layout ID, uh, this can be any value. It is, this just tells the framer uh, higher order component animated layout that, okay, we want this to animate into this. So we need that layout ID on both of the uh, motion image components. So now if everything works correctly, we should see the transition. Here we go. And that's basically it. Uh, we can also add this, uh, as you see the header jumps, we can also add the same thing to the h1 tag, uh, the motion.h1 with the layout ID of header. Copy this to the index page as well. Either. Here it's called my shop. And we can see the H1 being transitioned as well. Now, if you look closely, you can notice that the H1 kind of stretches between the pages, which we don't want. So one option is to define this width. So the width of uh, both the index page and the product page would be the same. So let's just add this to the globals for now. Let's add a background so we can see it growing and shrinking. And if we define a width, let's say 300 pixels with the width stays the same, let's also put the line center, center, you can see it, ah okay, now it's, now it's fi fixed, it, only the position, uh, uh, the position changes, not the width itself, so that's basically it. Hope this might be useful.
and 